Joyce. Drew Joyce the third. And, and, uh, that gang that was so tremendous. And uh, now we have uh, the sixth unbeaten to win a state title in Convoy Crestview. A little bit of a different style, this Crestview team versus the LeBron James teams. But I'll tell you, no less of an accomplishment. Not at all. Let's check in uh, with Michelle Memna, who stands by with one of the standouts, Tyson Mullenball. Michelle. Tyson, so I, I probably don't have to ask you how this feels, but of course I'm going to. Just give me a, your thoughts. It, it's crazy. It's a, it's a dream come true. This is stuff that we've been working for since we were in seventh, eighth grade. You know, even before that, out in the driveway, you know, getting shots up and my hoop, you know. I've been thinking about this my entire life. It just feels amazing. Emotions are running high right now. Well, you had 18 points today. You had a great game. Was it part of your team's philosophy to attack their smaller lineup? Yep, uh, coach really emphasized that, that they were, you know, s shorter than us and that that might be a factor. And my teammates always do a great job of getting me the ball and, you know, my teammates are great, and this was just a team victory for us. Well, you guys are one of six teams in the last 100 years to go undefeated. Tell me something about that. <laughs> That's just incredible. I don't really know what to say about that. That's just a great feeling to know that, you know, we've been working hard this our entire lives, and we finally got, you know, we got it. It's yeah. good. Just Congratulations. Go you. enjoy this with your teammates. Thank you. What a performance by Tyson Bolivoy, and he is our Cleveland Cavalier player of the game, 18 and 18 to 10. That's strong effort. And he did it with a lot of different and through a lot of different ways. Rebounding, playing down low, getting some nice post passes, and being aggressive. His size was a determinative factor. Eight of ten from the field, 80%. 80% field goal percentage is pretty darn good and bowling ball we talked about it before the game that his size was going to be something that st thomas aquinas would really struggle with and they did and we expected it they're just something that st thomas aquinas could not counter with enough three-point shooting you now damian helm at 6-4 tyson bowling ball at uh, six foot five uh, they both they both had uh, a lot of opportunities off the blocks in the paint and around the rim, Tony, and, and, and certainly they made that that smallest that smallest squad for the St. Thomas Aquinas pick. They did, and what I was really impressed by with Damian Helm was his three-point shooting. I mean, we're talking a big kid, six-five, three of five from the three-point line. You know, he had 20 points for this team, led the team in scoring. But the three-point shooting really was a killer because as St. Thomas Aquinas tried to account for him down low, he'd sneak outside, especially in transition. He'd make threes, and you know, for St. Thomas Aquinas, what do you do then? I mean, you're talking about a guy, a big guy whose size you really have to scheme for in the post, and if he's able to step out and make threes, now you're just in free fall defensively, and yeah, that, that happened more often than not. Well, you hear the... Uh, the squad from Louisville St. Thomas Aquinas as they are being recognized, and coaching staff and players. So they'll finish up on the year at 18 and 12. And of course, they had that uh, superb nine game win streak that got them to this state final four and into the state championship game. And that, that man right there, Matt Hackenberg, as we said, youthful look, second season at the Stark County School of St. Thomas Aquinas. And uh, got a feeling that strong days and big, big things are ahead for this program. Well, I like the, the adjustments that Coach Hackenberg made. You know, it wasn't working midway through the season, so he made some adjustments, got to this, you know, aggressive, innovative, five-guard, essentially, offense, playing all this spread, transition, three-point shooting, and really remade his team, and, you know, the team, answered and responded to that and i think if you got a coach who's willing Ladies to make and changes and, and do things like that you got Let's a chance give these two there's a commissioner dr teams, dan ross of the ohsaa on their championship efforts <laughs> coach hackenberg and the knights your basketball year really is been divided into two very distinct parts. Your regular season, 11 and 11, and I'm sure people were thinking, what in the world's going on, 11 and 11? And then you started the second season, and you caught fire 
and you're going home after the second season, being seven and one and one of the top two teams in the state of Ohio. You played, you played very, very hard. You left everything you had out on the court. You didn't quit. You played with class, and you certainly have represented yourselves, your parents, your coach, your school, and your community the way that they would expect and with a lot of grace. It's been 39 years since you've been here. You guys weren't even born then. But I hope it's not 39 years till you get back. You have a lot of young players, three seniors, a great tradition, and you've represented Summit County and Louisville very, very well. On behalf of our 826 member high schools, our board and our staff, we would like to present to you the runner-up trophy in Division IV Basketball Knights of Louisville Aquinas. Thank you very, very much. Dr. Dan Ross with some poignant words regarding uh, how this season took on a whole different complexion for the Knights of Louisville St. Thomas Aquinas. And Tony, they did nine game win streak to get themselves to a state championship game. Lot, lot to be proud of. A lot of heart in that team. You know, that's heart can make up for a lot of different things. Heart and three point shooting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you add those two ingredients to a basketball team, heart and the ability to, to drop the three. And you can beat a lot of teams and you can go on a nice little run in this Louisville St. Thomas Aquinas team. They did that, and you've got to give them credit for getting here. There's a lot of teams that, that had much better records and much better pedigrees and looked a lot better standing in their uniforms that, than this St. Thomas Aquinas team did who were home a long time before this game. So take your take credit in that and be proud of that. Here, here, isn't that the truth? And uh, before uh, we hear the unbeaten Knights of Convoy Crestview High School out of Van Wert County in the Northwest Conference get their state championship hardware, uh, Tony and I want to and really uh, thank uh, so many that have made this possible. Obviously, Dr. Dan Ross and uh, all of the contingent, uh, the Ohio High School Athletic Association, but the terrific group, too, uh, Fox Sports Ohio and Sports Time Ohio, our Vice President and General Manager, Francois McGillicuddy, our Executive Producer, Tom Farmer, our Director of Programming and EP for Sports Time Ohio, Pat Kilkenny, our Coordinating Producer, Steve Warren, Tremendous work done by uh, all of the executives since we put on another year of high school state championship finals in the various sports right here on Sports Time Ohio. And for Convoy Crestview, that is, as we show Tony again, uh, in this century that began in 2000, the sixth squad that has achieved unbeaten state championship Honor status. And, wow, I mean, I mean, that's something. Winning the state championships, one thing. Would you do it as an undefeated? Oh boy, that adds just uh, another feather in your cap. Yeah, running the table like that, being the number one team, you know, having the pressure of that number one status, having the pressure of that undefeated status. As a team, this is just a tough team. You can tell, it's just a tough team. They were able to take and accept all those shots and able to answer all comers and take it down. Assistant coach Tony Springer. And again, if you maybe uh, were with uh, with us at halftime and uh, you're saying, wait a minute, weren't Red Guy and White talking about a 26-23 three-point game? We were. And then all of a sudden, uh, the hammer dropped as Convoy Crestview came out of the locker room, just demonic on the defensive end, and Jeremy Best and his squad went on a 
16 nothing run in the quarter. They they outscored St. Thomas Aquinas 20 to three in the third quarter, and that proved to be way too much for the St. Thomas Aquinas Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, it is nighttime in Van Wert County. If you look out in the court and you see that star in the middle of the court right now in Van Wert County, nothing brings people and communities together better than high school sports. Every individual in Convoy and Wren is here today. And I've heard that this is even bigger than the wiffle ball tournament in Wren. Guys, you wonder sometimes when you're running the reservoir during conditioning if it's all worth it. Is it worth it? Yeah. It's worth it. Nothing better than seeing a community together come together on this final day of high school basketball and awarding a team that no other team in the state of Ohio in the last 53 years has amassed this many victories. We've had the honor not only of working with these young men and the team and your community today, but all week long. And on behalf of all of our member schools, our board of directors and Commissioner Ross, I can tell you standing here right now, it is an unbelievable honor to present you and this community this championship trophy in 2014. Knights from Crestview, congratulations. Jerry Snodgrass uh, bringing together with some some well well placed words about how they how they feel about their their nights in uh, Convoy and Wren in Van Wert County in Northwest Ohio Division Four state champions here state in champion 2014. All right, we'll be right back to wrap this up following Convoy Crestview's Division Four state championship. By the quarter, put a big star, gold, uh, highlight it. Well, how do you ever want to do it? Third quarter, Convoy Crestview absolutely turned up the dial. They outscored uh, St. Thomas Aquinas 20 to three, and that was all she wrote in route to a 27 point 71. The 44 win. Michael Regai, Tony White. Let's check in with them with Michelle uh, Mimna, who is with the undefeated state championship head coach of Division Four, Jeremy Best. Michelle, thank you very much, Coach. First, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, that's that's uh, pretty cool. A lot of fun. Well, you put yourselves in some elite company today with the undefeated season. How, I mean, how does that feel? I think it's one of those things we'll process a little bit later. I mean, but right now I'm just. I'm just you know, so happy for our kids who, who bust their rear ends for us night in, night out in the off season, and to see it kind of come to a head like this for our awesome community. You know, we're small town USA, and to, to bring it back home to Convoy and, and, and Wren and Van Wert County is, is, is awesome. When we talked at half, you talked about being dissatisfied with decision making. How specifically did you see that improve? Well, it improved a ton, obviously. You know, we had 11 or 12 turnovers at half, and we came out right away at the beginning of the third quarter and established the tone of the game. And from then on out, our kids just, they just did what we do. They defended, uh, made much better decisions offensively and um, uh, imposed our will. Yeah. And you guys had a decided height advantage, obviously. I'm sure that was part of the game yeah, plan. We, we did, that was part of the game plan. They were so good at spreading you out and, and shooting threes and, and dribble penetration, ripping you off the dribble, we, we had to really it put a lot of stress on your defense, but I thought when we were able to get it entered to run a set and get it on the block and penetrate ourselves, that helped the cause. It was a very impressive performance, Coach. Congratulations for both the state title and the undefeated season. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, nice work this afternoon and this morning. And uh, Tony White, I mean, that puts a cap on it for us. And what a thrill and pleasure it is for us to continue our opportunities to be a part of one of the great stages in scholastic sports here in Ohio, the Final Four in Columbus. The OHSAA does such a great job for this event and just being around these kids and winning state championships. It's, this is one of the special moments in these kids' lives and this community, the lives of these communities. 
And it's it's an honor for, for me and for you to be a part yes. of that and to be able to call that. Well said, partner. Have a great off season. We'll look forward to doing it again next year. Tee it up, baby. I'm ready to go right now. I hear you. All right. That's going to do it for us. For our terrific uh, gang of men and women of Sports Time Ohio that make this possible, especially our producer Gene Winters, director Mike Simons, and all the crew. For my partner Tony White, for Michelle Mimna, I'm Michael Regai. Enjoy Division Three coming up at 4:30, everybody. So long. <laughs>